We're at the Kelsite facility in Rogers City, Michigan. It's the largest open pit limestone mine in the world. Kelsite started out in 1912 as the Crawford's Quarry. High quality limestone deposit here, so it just made a lot of sense to start excavating that material. Port Inland is a high calcium limestone plant that has been supplying high calcium limestone into the steel aggregate markets and chemical markets actually since about 1929. We supply different sizes of material for building roads and making steel and even uh, water treatment and purification. Here at Port Inland we produce four and a half million tons of limestone every year. To make that four and a half million tons there's a myriad of different things that go into that. We basically mine the uh, limestone cap rock. We crush it down to about a seven inch size at our primary crusher and then we bring that material up through a series of conveyors into our mill building. Uh, we currently make eight products here at the plant, uh, the top size being five inch, down to sand or dense fines about an eighth of an inch. Uh, the name of the game in this industry nowadays is always to cut costs, become as most efficient as you can. So we're always looking at ways to upgrade. We had a giant footprint with our old system there with the two motors, the two reducers, and now it's just a simple pulley inside there, which has been working great. I have not heard a single thing go wrong with the uh, Vandergraaf drive pulley. So it's been a slam dunk in our minds. The guys love it. We've all been loving it. In our environment here at Port Inland, we do have a lot of wet, muddy environment and open pillow block bearings oftentimes do fail prematurely because of the environment. The Vandergraaf pulley has all that sealed inside of it and so thus eliminating those bearing issues and, and other things that we would see in a traditional drive system. So anything you can do to reduce babysitting something else has been great. The guys don't have to worry about it. That's really, I think, at the end of the day, the uh, driving factor is that it is so hands-off. You don't have to worry about it. It just runs. There's a limited number of ships that are available on the Great Lakes and if there's a ship available and we're unable to provide the product to the boat, it's sometimes very uncertain as when we'll have another available ship. So we need a reliable drive system to be able to load out stone when required on demand. We're very uh, happy with the drives and the performance so far. And as we continue to reevaluate upgrade items, we'll continue to look at Van and Graf to provide a solution for us. The most significant comment I received was the operators were somewhat worried about them because the drives operated so quietly compared to the old operation of the bull gear and gearbox drives. Recently we have explored different options for drive systems on conveyor belts and we finally decided to try a motorized head pulley system from Vandergraaf. We run our plant up until we start to get freezing weather and in that freezing weather time our drive pulleys will build ice. One of the advantages that we really considered with the Vandergraaf is because there is heat generation within the pulley itself it would help fight that slipping due to ice building up on the drive pulley systems. And with everything being internal all you have to do is kind of make sure the pulley itself is guarded in your own set. There's no motor shafts, there's no reducer shafts, there's nothing sticking out. Vandergraaf's very tidy and compact setup, it's been great. Yes, I think we've had a very good experience with our Vandergraaf pulleys. Um, we have very satisfied so far with their reliability as well as the customer service and the follow-up that we've gotten. So I can definitely see Carmoose using Vandergraaf pulleys in the future.